What in Black Sun is this? This is a brand new resource coming to obviously Valheim within the Mistlands update. So we're going to talk about that today. They've got another dev post going through some of the changes they've actually made to Valheim and the Mistlands to help progression, as well as a little bit of info about new crafting options and basically asking us to think about what it could be. A brand new cloak and they want also your ideas for new hairstyles as well. Let's go. It's the Valheim news. So they start the post off by saying they've fixed a lot of the problems and issues that were causing crashes and world resets and it should all be working now for pretty much everyone. And a reminder that you can help test it as well, who did test it in the public test branch. And I told you guys as well that in the future when Mistlands does come out, it will be in the PTB first. They're going to make sure it's all right and ready before going live for everyone. So everyone will be able to join that just by clicking beta tab and then clicking or properties beta and then choosing the drop down for the PTB or PTS, whatever you call it. I mentioned they've been talking a little bit in kind of whispers on Twitter about the bosses and also the progression, how it's changing. They basically created these nice dungeons for the Mistlands biome, but it didn't really have much progression purpose. It didn't feel as rewarding, so they wanted them to be that way. So they added a special extractor item used for processing and a new core, the black core. Now, a special extractor item, that feels like, I guess it could be maybe like alchemy. I feel like it's the dark arts and magic and maybe, yeah, that kind of stuff more. Just my little guess here, but they did tease also there's going to be a new cooking sort of station as well. So maybe that cooking station is a proper alchemy table. Maybe we'll be using either crystals or part of the new ore alongside these black cores to go ahead and get the resources we need to craft new items. Or maybe it could even be upgrades for the portal. There's so many possibilities it could be. But yeah, I like the idea of this. We obviously have the circling cores that power our portals. So the black cores have got to be pretty special and open up possibilities of so much more, especially like the dark arts. Like I said, that's what I think it should do. It looks pretty gnarly, nice pink purpley colour, and it does look like it's in this kind of, uh, I guess, cage of obsidian. So yeah, it looks like they're going to be adding some new hairstyles to Valheim in the future as well, and they basically want your suggestions, especially if you obviously create a new character. Now, that would be a good point. Is there a way that you can change your hairstyle with a character that you've already got? I honestly can't remember. I don't think there is. So that would be something nice to maybe add in the far future, that you'd be able to change your appearance at will whenever you want. Maybe it could be like a vanity mirror or something like that where you could do it. So go and leave some replies in a Discord or on Twitter, and I'm sure they'll hopefully take notice of some of them. And then they finished off with this, a new feathery cloak. This is going to be brand new added, and yeah, it's as dark as Munin's feathers, I do believe. So, so that's kind of cool, something to use with the feathers rather than what just you do at the moment. Namely, only use them for arrows and the dragon bed. It'll be nice now we can actually use them for something else. And it does seem to fit the Fenrir style kind of armour. So yeah, I'm totally down for having a big black feathery cape. Another fantastic little build. In fact, they're doing this kind of bit early. Usually they don't do this towards the end of the month. We're definitely like a week early for the kind of monthly vlog that they've been doing or the build of the month. Or maybe they didn't do it last month, I'm not too sure. So could that mean we have some news towards the end of the month? I kind of hope so. Once we get concrete information about when the Miss Lands is going to be going live, I will be returning properly. I'll be doing a bunch of live streams before the update, getting used to Valheim again because it has been a while since I played properly and I can't wait to dive in as it's been a too long before I visited my 100 days base and see if we can maybe get it to 200 days, explore all the biomes and I've still got a whole bunch of bosses to beat. With the Xbox Games Pass or the PC Games Pass release imminent as well at some point, they said it would be in full. Yeah, it's going to be a good, exciting couple of months, at least for Valheim. So until next time, Ratbags, I'll catch you later.